Welcome back, family of light. This is Davida with the Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Cancers, for another love reading. Let's see. So if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back, my friend. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit deck. Ah, cards. Flip. Flipping. If this one doesn't resonate with you, check out my playlist because these readings can go very detailed. So check those out and just look, or I guess read the title and see if it's something that sounds like your story. Nice. So the overall card here is the Ten of Cups. This is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. So you have the World card, the Temperance card, and the Six of Swords. The person has the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Tower card. With the World card, you're realizing that there is an end of a cycle here. And you are now looking into the future, waiting for your ships to come in. With the Temperance card, it's divine timing. Okay, two cards came out for our temperance. It's the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. So what I'm hearing here is you are going to be offering that temperance because you want some your person to go from a knight to a king. You're wanting them to level up and you're willing to wait. And with that Six of Swords there, let's see. You want the justice. So I feel like you're manifesting that, but you're continuing to do you. Your person here has the Six of Cups. That's a twin flame soulmate connection that, you know, is coming back from the past, either this life or the past life. So here's the King of Wands. Here is the Queen of Wands. So your person definitely does recognize you as a divine counterpart. With this dark night of the soul here comes the five of pentacles. So this is kind of like the twin flame soulmates in separation. When one feels left out in the cold, so does the other. And they're realizing that. Tower card, what is that about? There's the knight of swords and the page of wands. Or the page of swords and the page of wands here. Definitely looking over their shoulder, trying to figure out what the hell happened. They still have hope, too. So whatever has happened for them, they're definitely working on it. So with this Queen of Cups comes the Three of Wands. So they're wanting to really look, in, look to the future. They want to be able to offer you this this cup you know like I said it's the knight of cups here and they want it you want them to show up as a king so it looks indeed like they are going to because here comes the nine of cups wish fulfillment so they just need to get over whatever hardship or whatever they're experiencing here because it is bringing a lot of burdens here and with this ace of swords it's a new beginning that is real. It's almost like a formulation of something new. So with the King of Swords augmenting that, it's really showing that they have the ability to go from the Ace of Swords all the way to the end of that suit with the King of Swords here. Now with the Ten of Cups, so both of you do want the same thing, but there is some defensiveness. Let's gain some insight here. Now, if this is resonating with you, please make sure to give this a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other cancers here. 
So they're wanting to, you to use your intuition here. And I feel like that you are. You know, and I feel like they are also having to really stop and see how they are causing this situation to go awry. What is the caution about, guides? Your person is cautious, and there's a portion where you are cautious, too. Now, let's go more deeper. What is this caution about? The romance. The drama. Okay, so what about... The drama here. Okay, so what I'm hearing is your person might have a little bit of a um, emotional instability. And they might even have told you, I'm broken. You wanted to get married, and I think they did too, but then when this instability came up, it kind of pushed both of you away from each other and put you into this five of pentacles. I think your person might have even actually even um, had a third party or a third party situation where they, you know, were flirting with someone else and you saw it. You heard about it. But you also still want this. But this person seems to have some kind of an emotional um, incongruency. Chemistry. There is strong magnetic chemistry here. And we know that. We know that. Yeah, so there's wedding and honeymoon. So this is something that might have been postponed or... Indefinitely postponed. How's that? So let's see here. Guys, give me more information about what is going on with the Cancer's person. There you go. Emotional instability. The inner child. So there's an inner child situation here where they've, they've got some kind of healing that needs to happen before they can make this true commitment with you. So they need some time. They need some contemplation time and how they're going to approach this inner battle that they're going through. I think you are, of course, willing to compromise. I think you even compromise by saying, hey, let's take a break. But I feel like it was forced, like they did something that was emotionally immature in our child stuff, right? Right here. I don't know if you can see it. So your person witnessed some pretty heavy stuff when they were a kid. And I think it's being triggered here with this um, marriage, thought of a honeymoon, lifetime commitment. But remember, there's a lot of really good cards here. You know, the overall card was this, but there's... The wounded warrior who is defensive and trying to figure out if they can even have that. So that's what, okay. So this is kind of about deep self-worth issues for your person. You know, do they feel like they're good enough? Obviously the inner child is pitching a fit right now. They know that you're, you know, it's even here too. The king of wands, the queen of wands. You know, the twin flame soulmate. It's here. So they think of you as their divine counterpart. So new direction. So I think, you know, maybe even your person was like, no, I think I need to make a different choice here. So try to let them have their time. Because quickly enough already, they're already noticing. Like, wow, I made a gigantic mistake already. And they're refocusing their efforts here. So is, this isn't saying that the guys are like, oh, you know, let this go forever. It's let this go for now. You know, and for some of you guys are still in communication. You're trying to figure out 
what the heck is going on with your person. Well, this is an in oops, okay. This is an insight to what's going on. Free will. Your person is terrified that you're going to walk away from them. So the inner child is trying to walk away first. That wounded, abandoned part of us. <clears throat> Your person needs to get some healing here. You know, and that's okay. This is a time when, you know, major life changes and a commitment or up-leveling can be terror, you know, terrifying for someone who has not had a good childhood experience. And they might have, have even thought, oh, I'm over it, you know, I'm past it. And then all of a sudden this stuff comes up and you're like, whoa, no, I'm not. Or no, they're not, you know, or no, you're not. The guides want you to know that they have heard you and that you are being heard on the other side and they are working on helping this person because there's some things that you can't help because you're a part of the trigger. So know that they have received, you know, the message here and they, they are helping the situation, but don't expect like an instant miracle. It could be where they're like, oh, good, I'm okay now. I was just having a, a thing. It's, it's going to happen again until enough of a layer of this pain and suffering can be understood to where they can come at this in a more um, emotionally mature manner. And I feel that you're really, you know, ready to go, okay, you know, yeah, this is going to be a journey, but here's the Ten of Cups, and this is what you want. So again, patience. Have patience, and know that you will need patience here, okay? But this is a soulmate connection. You know it, they know it. It's here, it's in this Six of Cups here, it's in Wish Fulfillment, it's in this, the Ten of Cups. You guys got this. It's just gonna, it's gonna be a journey. Okay. So let their let this pause happen. And kind of let them take the lead, is what I'm hearing. Look at that. What else, guides? Yeah. So they're just reiterating. This isn't the end. This is just a major hiccup in the process of the journey that needs to occur. Okay, so, you know, stay strong. If this, if this is already something that's been going on for you for a long time, that this, this storyline is very similar, then, you know, you'll have to decide if that's something that you're gonna, you're gonna wanna walk away from. If this is something where it just occurred and you were trying to figure it out, well, you know, hold, hold, hold tight and be patient. Otherwise, like I was saying, since this is a, is a public reading, I want the, the others to know that if this has been going on for quite some time, it might be time to move on down the road. Because sometimes people want to, you know, really stay stuck and stay numb. You know, and two, if this has been going on for a long time for you, then this is probably not your reading but make sure that you follow your intuition and take matters into your own hands by creating the life that you want. All right, guys, anything else? Now they're just saying, please know that we, we're hearing you and we have your back. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.